Eight arrested, two still on the loose in an incredibly sad story out of Rancho. Eight teenagers arrested in the beating death of 17-year-old Rancho High student Jonathan Lewis Jr. The fight took place November 1st. Lewis died in the hospital about a week later. Two others are wanted. All the teens are to be charged with murder. All of it caught on camera. Ten kids just beating a defenseless kid. And it really angers me. Ten on one. Yeah, I, I uh, heard they were all going to be um, tried as adults. Good. Too. They so should be. 13 to 17 years old. I mean, Come on. Yeah, way too young. And again, we were just talking about, you know, young kids. I mean, there's... Yeah. And, and it, yeah, this is where I have to defend the teachers of CCSD and, like... This is a parenting issue. This is a parenting issue. This is not for the teachers to be like, you are going to, to either have, to have a with, decent right. child that wouldn't beat a defenseless kid or not. Mm -hmm. This is a parenting issue and uh, it's gross and these kids deserve to be tried as adults. And It was over like wireless. Like stolen headphones. Yeah, Supposedly yeah, yeah. Lewis's headphones or a friend of his had them stolen. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. The Nevada State Edu Education Association and schools over stadiums pack. They released a statement saying they plan on filing a new lawsuit to block public funding of the planned Las Vegas A's stadium. The president of the political action committee says, quote, we believe SB1, that's the, uh, the, the bill that would provide this money mm -hmm. to the stadium, violates at least five sections of the state's constitution, and which should lead to the bill's partial or total invalidation. They explicitly say which... Mm -hmm. five sections, but I guess they'll get to that. The bill approves for $380 million in state and county money to fund the stadium. Worth noting, by the way, uh, there are more counties in Nevada than Clark, and they're all like, why are we paying for this? Like, right. You know, Reno's like, that's seven hours away. No. Mm -hmm. um, sports publication The Athletic says it is believed that Major League Baseball team owners will approve the A's relocation in a meeting tomorrow. Still doesn't mean anything. If the teachers can block this, then I think it could be off the Especially team. because, I mean, this has been a thing for over a year now. It's like, my goodness, it's exhausting at this point. But like we've been saying since the beginning... We will believe it's going to happen once they break ground. And if they don't, then I still am like, meh. I, I would love to see baseball here. I don't think we should have to pay a dime. And there's the whole plans thing that's going to happen for the NBA at Blue Diamond and Las Vegas Boulevard and not a dime of public money for that. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what we need. It's been proven time and again. You will make money having a sports team here in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have to pay for it. Uh, there's a temporary bridge at Flamingo and Colval that's set up for F1, but it's going so well that it might not be temporary. That's according to LBCVA President Steve Hill. And supposedly the governor floated this as well, saying that it's doing such a great job of keeping traffic moving that he and others are suggesting a permanent bridge be placed there. I've thought of like potentially doing something like that at like a Blue Diamond as well. Mm -hmm. Have underpasses or overpasses at these intersections so it's kind of a highway. Yeah. But if you do that, there's businesses that are at that corner, you know, gas station here, gonna... restaurant, that they're not going to have the driving, you know, they're rearranging the deck chairs over in Tropicana near UNLV. And there's a gas station there that's going to lose a ton of business the way they're doing it. If nobody has to drive past it. Wow. Exactly. So, like, you know, how do you how do you help that? Like, some, something's going to be done there. I'm all for less traffic. Of course, it would take, you know, months of that bridge being constructed. Right. I'm all for less traffic. But, like, for the business owners, that's going to be a huge, huge uh, thing for them. Speaking of F1, driver Alex Albon is uh, yet another saying that driving in Las Vegas is going to present challenges. Low temperatures causing issues with traction and a potential of several crashes during the race if they can't get the, quote, heat to the tire. So if the tires don't get hot enough, they can't grip well enough. And if they can't grip well enough on these tight turns, they're going to be slamming against mm -hmm. walls. Mm -hmm. So... You might not be as fast of a race as you think, and then you add rain into the mix. Yikes. Uh, also, F1, and the whole thing is like, hey, it's going to bring a ton of money here. I've been seeing videos and pictures of, like, flights coming to town, and not a lot of people are on the flights coming into town. I drove some of the route yesterday. I went to, to Las Vegas Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Awesome, by the way. It looks really cool. It does look really awesome. It was the easiest commute I've ever had on Las Vegas Boulevard. Not a lot of traffic. It really isn't. So, interesting. Mercedes team is banning its members from visiting casinos before the race. So, like, where's this business coming from? Mm -hmm. How many people are going to fail? I am so interested. I don't want it to fail because we've done all this. Like, I want it to work. But, man, a lot of trouble. I mean, doesn't. well, from in the get, remember, you were saying this is going to make more money than Super Bowl. I just think it's, I, I think Super Bowl is an easy money maker. And, and this is so much. This is so incredibly and exhausting for, for, for us. for weeks around it. You have people that want to see the Bellagio Fountains and they can't. Mm -mm. Like there's, 
it's a big, big undergoing. So mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll see. It, hopefully, we're all wrong, and it does great, and then we make a ton of money. That would be lovely. Uh, Vegas Golden Knights, Stanley Cup champs, vetoed in Washington, losing to the Capitals 3-0. They're going to be in Montreal for a game against the Canadians. That's tomorrow at 4. The Las Vegas Raiders picked up cornerback Jack Jones off waivers from the Patriots. Uh, Jones has had a couple issues, uh, which just seems to be the perfect MO for a Raiders player. Jones had issues with discipline, missing curfew, charged in relation to a burglary at a Panda Express. <laughs> I mean, if you've ever had their orange chicken, you know. I know, I know. <laughs> it, it's worth committing an armed robbery for. I'm not saying that was armed robbery. I'm just saying, you know, it's very good. Mm-hmm. He was also, and this is true, busted for trying to bring loaded guns through security at the airport in Boston. Whoops, how did that get in there? Classic Raider. Sign him. <laughs> Sign him. In. But he's worked with Antonio Pierce before, new head coach for the Raiders. So maybe he's able to get through to him. We'll see. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm not uh I'm not anti trying the, the scratch and dent section. Mm-hmm. But we need uh we need some players that, you know, are just gonna double down. Yeah. Hopefully he can prove to himself and prove to the team that he can do just that. Uh and maybe the Raiders can uh, pick up a nice little steal. There. <laughs> All right, F one. Course closed down at 11 p.m. tonight and the surrounding uh, streets as well. So it's not just the course, but you're probably not going to be able to get within a block in any direction. Right. Won't be fully reopened until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then Thursday through Saturday, the course and surrounding streets will start to be closed at 5 p.m. And they won't be reopened fully until 4 a.m. So, again, just avoid it at all costs. Koval between Harmon and Rochelle, that's just closed entirely through November 25th. Again, it better make a ton. They, they've been floating numbers anywhere from 1.3 to 1.7 billion dollars mm-hmm. in economic impact. The Super Bowl, we already make about 400 million not hosting it. Mm-hmm. So if we make 650 million, that's a 250 million jump. Great, but F1's talking big game. Yeah, I mean they better show. I sure hope so. We'll see. <laughs> really nice still uh it's a high of 68 it may rain it may rain chances of precipitation this evening uh it is currently 58 degrees high 70 not too bad raindrops keep falling on our head mm-hmm. great song, great song. <laughs>